Hello, I'm Ken Heron, and this is the X-Dynamics Evolve drone. It is beautiful. And I want to thank X-Dynamics for sending me this drone to review. However, you might want to look away now, X-Dynamics, because in this video, you will see the propeller flying off. Can we see that again? Coming in hot. Good Lord. Whoa. <laughs> you see that? You'll also see the battery going down below 50% after just five minutes of flight. Low battery warning. What? Less than 30%. We haven't even flown 10 minutes. Uh uh. And the camera stopped recording intermittently for no apparent reason. When you switch screens, it stopped recording. Despite these issues that you will see in the video to follow, I want everybody at X Dynamics to know that you have made an absolutely beautiful drone. And DJI definitely needs the competition. So here we go, the full review of the X Dynamics Evolve drone. Be sure to hang out to the end of the video for your chance to win a baseball hat from X Dynamics. And now, on to the video. Mm. Greetings everybody, it's a beautiful day here in Murray, Kentucky, and we are at Stewart Stadium on the campus of Murray State University. And we're only here because we got permission from a very special person who got permission from other special people. One of the higher you, ups. Yeah, will you, uh, uh, sir, would you uh, just bob your head in there? Just Special person? Special, there you go. It's <laughs> Whitney Westerville! <laughs> so today it's all about the X Dynamics Evolve. Oh, sorry about that, Kelly. What are your first impressions of this? this first is, impression. It's supposed to be a competitor to the DJI line to fit in between the Inspire 2 and the Phantom 4 Professional, which is what we're doing quite literally today. I love the look. It does look good. It's carbon fiber, and to me, there's really no reason for it to be carbon fiber. The company will say that it helps with rigidity, and it does. Okay. But it's going to up the price quite a bit. It doesn't need to look as good as it does, but it really does. The look motors. Good. What about those big motors? Yeah, the motors. Is that a Hemi? <laughs> <laughs> so we've established that it is a absolutely stunningly beautiful drone. Gorgeous. But how does it perform? Because you really don't need it to be a good looking drone. They're doing that so that people will drop their jaw and go, oh, that's beautiful. I have to have that instead of uh, just the plain old plastic DJI mm. product. People have accused me of being a DJI fanboy, and I'm less of a fanboy of DJI uh, than I am just someone who doesn't like a lot of change. I've already gotten used to the way that DJI performs. I know the limitations. I know what it does in certain situations, and that's very important. This is the kind of thing you bring down to the RC park, and everybody goes, ooh! Ooh, right? It's it's very futuristic. If you look at the Phantom, if you look at the Inspire, and you, and you look at the Evolve, it's got that f Star Trek, Star Wars, spacey, futuristic look to it. It really does. Uh, but again, how does it perform? We will see. The battery is quite sizable, and one of the things I do like about it is the digital display on it, rather than just four lights on the Phantom. So my favorite thing about the Evolve so far is the purse that comes with it. Mm -hmm. What look do you at think? That. It's perfect for, um, for, for swim there, and if you're on a date or dinner, or just casual. Very stylish. Thank you. <laughs> the controller is huge. So dual screens, you can uh, check your video footage here and play Pac-Man there. Yeah. You know, when I first saw this, I was like, where does the strap go? Because there's no hook in the middle, like other controllers. Oh, yeah. Well, I had to put this contraption on here. It's pretty much like a bra for the controller. <laughs> it's, uh, it holds for at least 18 hours, <laughs> but uh, it is absolutely necessary oh, because yes. this thing is kind of heavy. This has all of the familiar accoutrement. Mm. It's got the buttons down here. It's got the, the camera thing. Well, what's it's over here? It's got the, you know, like very much like DJI, things that you're familiar with. The sticks are a little bit further apart, but it's really handy to have the information here in the middle and up top as well. But there's one thing we need to do before we go any further. <gasps> oh, yes! And there's one up here as well. What? Oh, there you go, buddy! Boom! Swah! Even the, the app on this is different than what you're used to, mm -hmm. what most people are used to. DJI, the Go app, has been copied by Chinese companies uh, even the toy drones, when they have the app, it looks almost, not quite, suable, 
close, but uh, almost <laughs> like the, close. The, the Go app. Yeah. <laughs> right. So the controller will take some getting used to for a lot of people. One thing I do like about it is the battery, when you put it in here and it turns on, mm -hmm. it lights up red like a tail light. So you can always tell the orientation pretty far away. The thing everyone's talking about on this is the camera. And this is a detachable camera. So they're gonna be offering like a, a FLIR option and an improved camera uh, in the next few quarters. One more thing about the controller, there's a little thing up here. It looks like it might be a camera. Are they spying on you? No, that's just a light sensor to adjust the brightness according to the brightness outside. All right, we're not gonna go into too much detail about this because when you're making your buying decision, you really go with your gut, don't you? Yeah, you gotta go with your gut. So yeah. we're gonna influence your gut today. We're gonna show kind of how fast this will go compared to the others, uh, what the distance is before it fails. I know that it is limited through software for height and for distance. And you're gonna test it against the Phantom and the Inspire? That's right. <gasps> so let's do it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> this will be my second flight. Mm. I've got a camera on here to show you what the controller app looks like. And then I have a second camera down here to show you what the uh, camera is doing on the drone. So. <laughs> All right. Are you nervous? I am, yes. Are you? Yes, it's a level of uncertainty here. So just like other batteries, you do the, tw the two clicks and then it'll start. And I'm turning on the controller. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, let me see that thing. So I've got sunglasses on and I do know that with the crystal sky, you can wear polarized sunglasses and still see the screen. So far, you can do that with this as well. So that is pretty good design. Ready to evolve, let's do it. Ooh, make your own horizons, I like mm, yeah. that. We can see the camera out front here is on. I'm really impressed with the lack of lag. This has less lag than a DJI product. So I'm gonna hit start here. It says ready to fly. And I don't know how to get it going. <laughs> <laughs> go and go and start. Is the voice activated maybe? <laughs> All right. Oh, maybe this, uh, this button oh, here well, that there says. There you go, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we'll hit that. But it sure does have a cool display here. It's got a speedometer, gives you the distance that it is from you, and it has a little map here. I'm gonna go ahead and start recording again. So now it's recording. Hold to take off, okay. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. I'm not doing anything. It's got enough satellites. It's about to lop my head off. Mm. It is drifting a little bit. The, uh, it, you can tell that it is a bit bigger than a Phantom. It's not turning uh, especially fast like I would like it to, but I'm sure that's something in the settings. You're getting nervous, aren't you? A little bit. A little <laughs> okay, bit. I'm going to raise yeah. it up a bit. Um, it's got a nice picture. Look at that. We look good in there. That is one heck of a good camera. All right, well, shall we? Yes, you shall. And I can see the display quite fine. Let's head on down to the goalposts. Man, it is a good looking picture. Can I go through the goalposts? Would that be too much to ask? Mm, it's early, it's what do you, early. What do you think? Go on through. Am I good? Oh dear. I did it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was, that was a little nerve wracking. So what are your initial thoughts on it so far? Yeah, the picture is very impressive. And you don't have to tap to uh, focus. Um, 
I would be curious if X Dynamics would put out a goggle for this. Oh, you know the accessories are coming. Yeah. But man, the picture is just really good. Now, I don't want to do what Whitney did a little bit earlier. Here's, here's a video of Whitney flying his Mavic 2 zoom around this. Don't even try that. Whoa, man, that was close. So I'm doing a little bit of orbit. Are you spotting me? Oh, wait, am I supposed to be spotting you? You know not to use me as a spotter. <laughs> You've learned that lesson. Here's what happened last time he spotted Don't me. Don't show it. I'm gonna pour some ambience and put it in this track. <laughs> done showed it <laughs> <laughs> all right so signal is good oh wow, we got a that? bird we got a bird i think that was a bug was that a bug yes like right on your camera it was huge it was i thought massive. it was a bird no i think it was a giant uh, bee of some type now the default settings won't allow it to go too terribly fast which is just fine with me let's see if we can't get a little bit of distance am i gonna hit that light no you're good okay okay am i high enough i would think yep I don't want to go over the road, so let's what's see. The, what's the object of avoidance on it? You got it up, Okay, down. now that is, it's, uh, it's lit, yeah, it's, oh. What do you got? Lost the signal. Really? Lost wow. the signal. Returning to home, or what's it doing? It's coming back. That's kind of what I was trying to do. Wow. Pretty short range. It is a short range, isn't it? Whitney maybe pointed out that that, yards. that was not very far at all. Mm. That's one in the loss column for the x dynamics that's so, scary i'm not doing anything and it is trying to return to us i'm just going to go ahead and let it do and see what happens all right so it's directly over us i'm going to turn the camera down do you think it'll land i guess we're about to find out i have an option here to exit return to home but i'm not i'm gonna let it land i'm hoping that it'll land that's pretty concerning that it lost connection. Yeah. Like that. That wasn't very far at all. I know that it limits the distance in the software. Oh, it's coming in hot. Where is it ever? Coming in hot. Good Lord. Wow. <laughs> you see that? The propeller came off? Yep. Oh my God. Did you get that? Oh, it's coming in hot. Where is it ever? Coming in hot. Good Lord. Wow. <laughs> you see that? Oh my gosh, the propeller came off. Shot up what, Whitney? About 30 feet yeah, in the air? Yeah, it did. This camera got it. Wow. That's interesting. Oh, you're saying it came off once it hit the ground? It hit the ground, it went straight well, up. I may have seen a split second. I bet you did. Okay, so the recording on this stopped again. I don't know why that happened. Maybe it stopped after it landed. So this is concerning. A little bit, yeah. The post on here is spring-loaded. When you put this on, it's very much like DJI. You push this down and turn it. And I made sure that this was on there, like that. And it looked like it landed hard. Could it have landed hard enough for it to push this down and pop off? Because boy howdy, it flew fine. It was like a jack-in-the-box. That It popped off and probably went 20 feet in the air. Hey, X-Dynamics, do you have a drawing board? Because you might have to come back to it. <laughs> that was unexpected. You know, you have to have confidence in these things. If you're going to put a couple grand in the air, you have to have confidence. And that does not instill confidence. And I hate to even post this video because that's probably a one in a million shot, but that's the one in a million shot that will happen to somebody that will just, that'll, that'll be it. And oh. I haven't really formed a complete opinion uh, other than to say, I know for certain I had the propeller on correctly. It does have a LiDAR system on the bottom. And what this does, it uh, is supposed to read the terrain and keep it from getting too low. And it also is supposed to come into play when it's landing. I don't know why it didn't work or 
Maybe it's something in the settings, but man, <laughs> do we even need to uh, run the other birds to to compare it? Do I'll you... I'll do it for just pictures' sake right. to show the camera. The camera is impressive. Would you be willing to give it another chance and fly it one more time to see if it pops the prop again? <laughs> well, it's not mine. <laughs> you want the other it's battery? down to 53%. You want to switch it? Battery, just after that flight. How long were we in the air? Five minutes. Five uh, minutes? Yeah, and we're down almost to half battery on a full charge battery. That's still gorgeous though, isn't it? <laughs> still looks good. <laughs> oh, it's, still it's looks a good great. looking drone. <laughs> There's one more thing that I would like to mention about this. Kelly, you and I are radio guys. Yeah. And you remember back in the days when everybody used CDs? Yes. You remember when record companies who had a crappy band, they wanted to promote? What did they do with the CDs? They gave you a lot of them, and most of the CDs were like pop-up, scratch-and-sniff hologram. <laughs> so that it would distract you from the quality of the music itself. Mm. And I think there's a similar thing that's happened here. This drone does not need to have a blue light shining down on top of this camera. Uh. Uh, it's pretty and everything, but at night or in dim light, there could be some light pollution spilling over onto the lens. Just a thought. Now, maybe you're able to turn that off in the app, but maybe not, who knows? Mm. Maybe I'm just complaining too much. As we say in the country, the juice ain't worth the squeeze. <laughs> well, let's fly it again and see if we can't land it properly this time with all four props on it. It's a good picture though. It is a good picture. Unfortunately, uh, when all that happened, it stopped recording. It seems as though when you switch screens, if I start the recording here, it says it's recording up there. So if I enter the drone here on the bottom, it stopped recording. Interesting. See that? Yeah. Now I'll have to start the recording again. And if you forget that, then you'll miss your shot. Hopefully these are things that X Dynamics can fix because, I mean, clearly they put a lot of effort into this. This just doesn't magically appear. It takes hundreds of people, right. many, many uh, hours of time to create. And DJI definitely needs the competition. Unfortunately, from what I've seen so far, it's not from this drone. Mm. But let's get it up in the air again. Run! <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's got 15 satellites. It also uses GLONASS, which is the Russian satellite. We got a, a breeze a little bit, and it's holding. Yeah, it's holding pretty steady. Yeah. What's it saying your battery life is? Battery life is at 50%. 50%. The controller, the controller battery life, both of these were at 100. Controller life is at 83. So, a little bit of drift there. Yeah, all right, let's go on down. And do the same flight. It really is a good picture. I'm going to go up a little bit higher and not, and not hit yours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, again already? Look. Warning. The drone is returning to home. What? You're 377 feet away. All right. All right exit. I'm going to exit out of this, OK? I think that maybe I just don't have the settings correctly. All right, I set all this stuff before. Set maximum flight altitude, that's at the maximum. Set max flight distance, that's at the maximum. Maximum height is 1,640 feet, which is the same as DJI. Set maximum flight distance, uh, 4,921 feet. Mm, we didn't quite make it that far. We did not. <laughs> and when I went to check the settings, the recording stopped again. Holding three seconds to return home. Return to home. All right, we're returning to home. Let's not stand directly under it just to be safe. You were 377 feet away. Low battery warning. What? Less than 30%. We haven't even flown 10 minutes. Uh-uh. Total. Boy, it sure is giving a, a warning you can't ignore. Whew. It does not like being in the air. The DJI battery warning is a little 
gentler. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the moment of truth. A little gentler this time. Wow, much. Okay. All right. Much better on the landing. Good job. And it shut off the recording again. The as recording soon as it hit the ground. Yeah, and this is the SD card that came with it. It comes with an SD card. So, anyway, uh, wow. I'm just not impressed with it. But it sure is good looking. It's going to look good on that oh, ship. Oh, boy. It's going to look good. Oh, that dust collecting on is going to be the best looking dust. <laughs> We've got Ken back out of his straight jacket. I went to my happy place. <laughs> oh, DJI. Oh, DJI. That's my happy place. All right, we're going to take a little flight with old Reliable here. <laughs> just to do a side-by-side -side with the camera. The camera on the X-Dynamics is good. It's just getting the camera to <laughs> and back from. This is also quieter than the X-Dynamics was. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do one of those fantastic pull-away shots. You ready? Ready. Oh, beautiful. Can I go backwards through the goal? No. I think you're going to no, miss it. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, I know that I can, I'm confident that I can go further away than this. This was the limit for the X-Dynamics. The straps aren't also in your way on this. True. Back to the normal hook in the middle. Yep. Versus the very secure hooks. <laughs> Man, that thing was not going anywhere. No. Neither was the drone. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just knocking on it for Burn. fun. I apologize, X Dynamics. All right, confidence level? Uh, rock solid confidence level that uh, this drone will fly, mm -hmm. uh, will return home, yeah. and all props will be attached the entire time. I, I hear Are that's you sure a new, about that? Well, I think it's a new feature of this particular model of DJI. It's kind of close to us. It could lop our heads clean off. How close are you willing to get to it and, and turn your back to it? Oh, no, no, no. If you're flying it, I'm as close as I want to be. <laughs> I'm actually less concerned. I mean, the prop coming off, I'm just assuming that's a fluke thing. Maybe not. Maybe the apparatus is really not secure. The part that annoys the fire to me is the battery life being almost nothing. Mm -hmm. And it flew 450 feet before yeah. it, it lost the signal. What, what can you fly? Where, where can you go with that? That's, that's a $2,000. But, but it's gorgeous. <laughs> I've dated women like that. They got nothing inside, but on the outside? You lost connection with all of them. I did. There was no return to home for those girls. <laughs> well, there you have it. That's my first impression of the X Dynamics Evolve. I feel that it needs to continue its evolution. Mm -hmm. I would hope that the company would give me a second chance once they make the improvements to it. Highly doubtful at this point, but I have to be honest with you guys. And um, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for nothing, X Dynamics. Well, not really, huh? because they provided you with this fantastic looking purse. Oh, looking good. Bye, darling. Bye. And bye, sailor. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And if you don't subscribe, well, that would make me real sod. <laughs> he gets it. <laughs>